Hello, and welcome to episode one of the LeftyGuitarTrader.com video review series. I'm your host, Jesse, and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at my newest acquisition, the Dean Dime from Hell. The Dean Dime from Hell has a solid mahogany body with a set mahogany neck made into a rosewood fretboard. The signature Dean headstock houses Grover tuners and a locking nut. The bridge is a Floyd Rose special tremolo system. The guitar is outfitted with a Bill Lawrence XL500 in the bridge position and a Dean Dime Time in the neck. The controls are easy laid out with a three-way switch, two volume knobs, and one tone control. The finish is a lightning bolt graphic that echoes Dimebag Daryl's Dean from Hell. First things first, I gotta give a shout out to XLG Guitars. You can check them out at xlgguitars.com. They are quickly becoming the online retailer of left-handed guitars. Whether you're looking for a Jackson, an ESP, a BC Rich, a Dean, or anything else, check them out first. Secondly, if you pick up this guitar, I highly suggest that you get the custom molded hard shell case. If you wanna keep this thing safe, you gotta have the right equipment. Now. When I first went to order this guitar, the first thing I noticed was that it was made in China. Made in China? Are you serious? After all the things you've heard and after all the things we've seen in the past, everyone should be understandably hesitant about buying a Chinese product. Well, I'm glad to say that I was wrong. And this guitar is built solidly and I couldn't be happier. So, at least with this model, we can say rest assured, made in China does not automatically mean garbage. Uh, as far as the pickups on this guitar go, in the bridge we got the Bill Lawrence uh, XL500. The pickup itself is pretty trebly. It actually reminds me of the L500 that comes in my Nuno N4 Vintage. Uh, so when you first get it, you're probably going to have to tweak your amp to get the right sound you want or else it's just going to be biting way too hard. Um, the Dean Dime Time stock neck pickup does the job, does everything you need. Sounds pretty good on the cleans too, but we'll get to that later. Uh, as far as the trim, as you know, we got a Floyd Rose Special in this guitar, which is not the original. And again, this may be some cause for hesitation because it uses an alloy and it's not as strong or it's not going to reverberate as well as the original. Well, again, it feels like a Floyd, it sounds like a Floyd, and so far, so good, I have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, as for the neck, we got a V-taper neck, and it's actually pretty, pretty uh, narrow which feels kind of cool, you know, you got your 24 frets, rosewood fretboard, and the neck itself is pretty thin, and, and the, the narrowness actually fits my hands pretty well. It's kind of how I kind of imagine a Kramer Knight Swan to be. Um, besides that, you know what, I think we've done enough talking, and I think it's time to see this thing in action. So, let's head over to the studio and see what this baby could do. I'm going to start off by listening to the guitar on the Dirty Channel. like in the clean channel with a little bit of uh, reverb and a little bit of chorus.
warm. And like I said before, the, the treble pickup's a little trebly. That's all the time we have for today. Before we go, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, go over to LeftyGuitarTrader.com and join the forum, and always remember, sometimes right is wrong. We'll see you next time.